Okay, I want to talk a little bit about armor values, specifically armor values for two kinds of enemies that I will be using a lot when it comes to uh, testing weapons and all of that stuff. Now, normally, when it comes to figuring out armor values, I tend to just rely on a slider on the wiki, but that doesn't appear to have been updated yet for the new armor scaling shenanigans. So, how much damage can I do with my Paris Prime against this level 100 corrupted heavy gunner with all of their armor? 45... 17 okay one more time 45 17 45 17 on the orange crits ignoring the viral proc okay and we're going to just be using the orange uh orange crits to be our guiding number okay so 45 17 damage now what happens if i decide to delete all of the armor with something like fracture or sonic fracture when we then do a body shot it goes to 80,281 damage when they don't have any armor. Awesome, 80,281 damage. Now, if we uh, slide over uh, to the other screen like so. So we're gonna be calculating how much damage is the portion, or rather how much proportion of that damage is left when they still have all of their armor. So that, equals whoops 0.0563 so that's 5.63 percent damage that is taken when they have all of their armor which means the damage mitigation factor of their armor is one minus oops one one minus precisely that minus point one minus point zero five six three cool so that's 94.37% damage mitigation. Okay, awesome. So how much armor is that? Well, the amount of armor, or rather the amount of damage mitigation is calculated usually by the amount of armor that the uh, target has divided by the same amount of armor plus 300, okay? So uh, what we're gonna be looking now is some equations. We're gonna try and figure out when we know the damage mitigation, how do we figure out the amount of armor? Okay, so by equations, when we look at that, what does this show us? It shows us that if we multiply both sides by armor plus 300, we end up with armor multiplied by damage mitigation plus 300 times damage mitigation happens to equal the armor value. Okay, this is that that's that's how the equation sort of works out when you multiply both sides by armor plus 300. When we look at that, what we can also then say is, well, what if we decide to just subtract from both sides this armor times damage mitigation part? So what we end up with is 300 times damage mitigation, right? Equals the armor value minus the armor value times damage mitigation okay now this thing here this section here we can actually simplify it okay so that ends up being armor and then brackets one minus damage mitigation okay cool so then what if we just decide well all we need to do is we need to know what the armor value is okay so we just divide both sides by this thing in the brackets so, armor equals, the armor value equals 300 times the damage mitigation divided by 1 minus the damage mitigation. Does that make sense? If that is confusing you in any way, shape, or form, leave me a comment. I'll try and explain it a little bit better with words, but... Basically, it's all about balancing and multiplying or dividing both sides, adding or subtracting from both sides certain values, okay? I realize I'm talking about math for a little bit too much now, and therefore, you know, you can do all that. So, basically, what does this mean? It means when we have the damage mitigation, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to take the damage mitigation number that we have, multiply that by 300, and then divide that by this number right here, because we already did one minus this number, to get our 94.37%. So when we do one minus our 94.37%, we get back the 0.0563. So level 100 Corrupted Heavy Gunners have 
5,028 armor. Great, awesome. I do believe that does mean if we actually pull up the wiki and we bring our corrupted heavy gunner, like so, and then we go to the slider right here and we type in 100, you will see that they, on the slider at the moment, it clearly shows 7,332 armor. So yes, the slider has very much not been updated. Which is a bit unfortunate because I would actually rather refer to the slider than to try and do the mental math myself. Okay, awesome. So, back to Warframe. Now we're going to be going up against a level 140 Cropped Heavy Gunner. So, with all of their armor, it's 3,555 damage before the viral proc. 3,555 damage, 3,555 damage, that remains rather consistent. Okay, and we already know that when they don't have any armor, they take, what was that, 80,281 damage, despite the fact that they're level 140. Those who are interested. Oops, keep missing. There we go, there's your 80,281 damage, okay? So it doesn't matter what level they are, if they don't have any armor, then, you know, they don't take any less damage. Great! Awesome. Sliding over now, how much damage does that mean as a portion when they have all of their armor? 4.42%, 4.43%. Okay, cool. And the damage mitigating factor therefore is 1 minus 0 0.0443. 95.57%. So once again, let's figure out how much armor we have using this right here. Okay, so we're just going to multiply that by 300, but then going to divide that by... Uh, this number right here, so I'm literally just going to do that. Uh, oh, can't do that. 0.0443. And they have a whopping 6,472 armor. Now this is a very interesting statistic. And the reason why it's very interesting is because someone on Reddit uh, hypothesized, and they might actually be correct, that an enemy with specifically 6,500 armor will have the same uh, effective damage increase if you give them 10 corrosive procs as opposed to if they give them 10 viral procs, okay? Remember, 10 corrosive procs will mitigate armor or rather reduce armor by 80%. 10 viral procs will increase damage by 325%. So when you try to work that out and you try to figure out like at what point do they actually equalize, apparently the answer is six and a half thousand armor. And they might be onto something because right now, these guys with only 6.47 thousand armor, they're not quite there yet. So we will see a small change in the amount of damage, a small difference in the amount of damage that we do to them using 10 corrosive procs and a headshot. So let's remember 64,158 damage, like so. So I'm actually just gonna put that in, 64,158 damage, cool. And then if we look at our viral proc mode instead, instead of the corrosive procs, like so, uh, we actually don't even need to get rid of the enemies, which is fun. Okay. 64,327 damage. 64,327 damage, remember, with the corrosive procs, we only did 64,158 damage. So, we're almost there, okay? As the levels approach the point, and as the amount of armor for a certain enemy approaches the point where they're at 6,500, that's when viral will no longer outpace corrosive, and then any further viral will actually underperform as opposed to corrosive. Corrosive will actually start to outperform viral. Obviously, if that enemy has shields instead of armor, then ugh, corrosive just flies completely out of the window. But that's the gig. That's the deal. Okay? So, whew, that was a lot of uh, talking and math and dry throats and all of that jazz. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Oh, I realized I actually did that over there. So, again, D, uh, when you multiply both sides by A plus 300, you end up with DM 
a plus 300 in brackets equals a and then when you expand that a uh expand that you multiply this that's a of a times dm and then you multiply that that's 300 dm that's plus so yeah expansion and all that jazz so let me know what you think about all this in the comments below again if you have any questions about this feel free to hit me up in the comments i'll try to explain it again uh cool otherwise hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked this video hit that like button subscribe for more warframe content and until next time i will see you guys later thanks for watching bye